3 minutes jump rope. Based on the steps that we learned previously, we are going to be focusing on the forearms motion. This is usually known as a crossover jump. It is easy to know how good or bad somebody is depending on the ability to perform the crossover jump. It is very important to learn the basics properly, since crossover jump is required for intermediate learners. From now on, we are going to be talking about making certain shapes with your forearms. Before jumping the rope, practice making the U shape, so it is going to be easier to understand the motion and be able to perform it correctly. When performing crossover jump, try making the shape first, and then stepping on the rope like this. Practice in front of the mirror to adjust the height of your hands. Remember to practice for both sides, which means that you have to make sure that you use both hands going up and down as she shows now. When performing crossover jump, do not cross the arms excessively because it is going to be too high to jump the rope, and if the width is too narrow, it's going to be difficult also. It is important to practice the adequate height and width. If you only rely on your arms, the rope might get twisted. To avoid getting the rope twisted, practice pointing at the ceiling with your thumbs. And make this shape with your hands as you twist your wrists. Practice what we learned about crossover jump today and let us know if you have a unique way to do it in the comments. Thank you!